You remember how you saw these cool subtitles in your favorite gaming YouTuber and you ask yourself How can I make those for my video as well? I'm happy to tell you that you are on the right place because today I'll show you how to make few of these types of subtitles. Reality is some creators don't use subtitles at all, some of them use them just to make stand out some emotions, some use them as a nice little touch to video and some like me use them to make it more clear what is being said sad so you can understand my bad England. Getting it? England instead of English as a sign of a bad English. I personally have a few of these types in my gaming videos, so if you are a fan of Souls-like genre, you can check my second channel where I play this genre of games and subscribe to that channel maybe? Please? Thank you and let's get back to subtitles. As usually on this channel I'm going to use only free resources so you can create everything by yourself. For the software I will use DaVinci Resolve and also one really amazing pack called Magic Animate V3 by Mr. Alex Tech, which dropped few days ago and my whole script for this video with Magic Animate V2 was good only for a trash can. You can download this pack for free, but if you want to support Mr. Alex Tech, you have that option to pay what you want for this pack. I'll put link with the video where is he explaining everything from download through install all the way to how to use it down into the description. And now it's time to jump into DaVinci Resolve and start working on subtitles. I mean, that's why you subscribe to this channel, right? Right? All right, so we are here in DaVinci Resolve. Now, first thing I would like to do is I will play some background. So it's the regular background that I use for videos. And then on the top of that, I will place text and I will use this text plus. It's basically mandatory to use text plus with Magic Animate V3. And now here in our inspector tool, we have an options for the text. So let's change the text and let's adjust a bunch of things. So something meaningful for a text, let's say like and subscribe. That seems cool. Now here you have a bunch of other options like font. So let's pick something I do prefer in subtitles these like more thicker fonts. This is kind of funny. A lot of fonts that I have, I have from Adobe since I'm using their package. So maybe you can try to find something on the internet, some free fonts to use or pick from the wide library of DaVinci Resolve the font that you like. Okay, color white is pretty okay. Font size, I, I think this is quite big for a subtitle, so let's change it. Uh, this is pretty good. I have to admit, I've been using quite a large subtitles and probably in next gaming video, I'm going to change that. Okay, moving on from text size, let's go to shading and check this number two, which now says red outline. Okay, we can enable this effect. And this is this outline. I personally really like that, but if you don't like it, you don't have to use it, but you have more options what to do with that. Basically, I'm leaving everything as it is. I will select text outline. I'm going to increase thickness, something like that, 0.05. You can change color here. I will go with this bluish and maybe a little bit darker. And basically our edits in text plus is ready. Now the other things I'm going to effects, Mr. Alex tech and drag and drop this magic animate V3 free up on the text. Next thing I will change the position of the text so it's it's up to you where you place your subtitles and all over this uh, I will show you how I'm doing mine so I will place them lower also which I really like in this v3 is enable shadow so if you want to have like this little shadow underneath it's pretty cool and you can adjust it however you like it so I'm going to play a little bit with this drop shadow settings so make maybe make it a little bit bigger and maybe change the distance as well and this shadow softness i will adjust a little bit more okay cool it's really subtle 
you might not even see it on this background. It will be a little bit better on white background, but it's there. It's a nice little touch that I know about. So first we are going to create our first very basic animation. It's popping animation. So scroll even further down and drop down this zoom control. Check zoom in for animation. Where is it? Animation length. I will go probably with 0.2. I like them really to pop in really fast. Curve easing is for me fine. And in and out for in I'm picking none. So before or at the beginning of the animation, I don't want no other animation. And for zoom out, I will select back. Okay, now when I play this animation, Let's see what will happen. Nice, a little popping. As you can see, it will appear. It will be a little bit larger than bounce back to smaller or to your actual size. So this is really simple popping animation. Next thing, I'm going to zoom out a little bit timeline and I will create four or three copies. So select both and hold Alt and drag and drop it. I'm creating four just to show you the other options and the popping will be same beginning on all of them. Okay, so another type of animation that I think is kind of cool, it's sentence on the screen, but it's appearing word by word. I have to be honest, I haven't found the easier way, so I will show you the way that I consider the most simple and the way that I'm making it to make every word have that popping animation. Okay, so you will select this text layer, hold Alt and drag it and drop it above the layer. Make it a little bit smaller, small as well, and drag and drop another one. Now I will just show you the simple way how to make it, but according to your sentences, you will have to adjust it so it will pop up when your word is set. So I will drag and drop this a little bit further to the right. I will actually zoom in, maybe like this and this. Okay, so in our first text, if we will move with the arrows to the right, we want to ju have just the word like. We will go to the settings in the in video tab. We will enable cropping and crop this first layer from the right actually. Just the word like. Then we'll go to the second layer and we'll crop both from the left and from the right just to make a word and, and then we will go to the last word and crop from the left to have just the word subscribe. So now when I play this whole animation, you, you will have something like this. Like I said, you have to time it according to words you said in a recording. So it might get a little bit complicated and I'm not recommending it for long sentences. You will have a bunch of layers there. Probably you don't want that. Make it simple. Just pick the right animation to use this effect. Okay, moving on to third text animation. This one I call singing. So in my videos when I'm scared or whatever, it's a good music, I will start try to sing. I want to show it in my subtitles that it's melody or it's supposed to be melody. So select this subtitle. Once again, we have this pop in here already on the subtitle. Go back to the effects. Just go from, from controls window to meets window and enable wave. And you have quite a few settings here. It's not that hard to adjust it. It's basically two settings. So I will go with waviness. I don't want to make it too much wavy. So I will go somewhere around seven. And for a waviness type, if you want to have it vertical, you can have it vertical. I like horizontal a little bit more. It, it will show more that it's wavy. So let's see what we've created. Nice wavy effect. Good for singing, like I said, or maybe you will find some other use for that. But you can play with the settings. 
more. If you want to make it more wavy, you can double it or change according to your liking. So it's completely up to you. I will just show you basics or things that I'm using in my videos and you can play with the settings, maybe adjust something to your preferences. It's all up to you. Okay, let's move to the fourth effect because I'm talking a lot. And the fourth and the last one effect is, is for situations when you get scared or your teammate is doing something bad and you start screaming at them or they screaming at you. So we have our pop-in animation, we will keeping that on all the types. Now let's go back to the effects tab. Okay, so for the screaming effect or scared effect, let's go to the mids, enable mids. You want to delay start, put at zero, so it will start right when the subtitles appear on the screen. You don't want to like have it for a second. This is basically when you want to wait for subtitles and then start shaking a little bit later. So we will go to the whip control. I already have my settings here, sorry, but Number of loops, you want to have some like high number of loops. For the angle, if you want to have it vertical, keep it on zero. If you want to move it like in a, in a different angle or up down, just change the, this number of angles. So if I want to have it like from or jumping upside down, I will change it to 90. Transform scale is actually how much will the subtitles move. So I will go with probably 0.1. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. Now you see, now it's moving up and down. If you want to make it like in 45 degrees, circa 45, so it will go like diagonally up and down. I personally prefer horizontal movement. So from side to side, but all the settings are here. You can change that according to how you like that. And that was the last one for now. I hope it was helpful for you and with this tutorial you can level up your gaming videos. I'm going to jump a little bit more into DaVinci Resolve and maybe I'll come up with a bunch of more subtitle animations for you. Who knows, maybe there will be part 2 someday. I don't know if this functionality is already on on YouTube, but when I say subscribe to this channel, your subscribe button will start glowing and when you press it, it will give you a nice animation as a reward. So go on, boost your dopamine, get that feeling, mess with your hormones. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't mess up your hormones. But that like or subscribe will be much appreciated. And in the next video, I will tell you how to make...